Let's do uh, Crazy Town, G. Biden goes home. Now, I don't know even where home is anymore because every time he goes somewhere, he tells us where he grew up is a different place. But uh, Biden goes home. Let's see it. Roll it. Spent an awful lot of time uh, across from St. Paul's uh, church happy to at, be there. Uh, my Uncle Jack Finnegan's house. His daughters are here. Oh, and uh, he was uh, he taught up at the U. Amtrak is here. They can tell you. Amtrak. You, can, yeah. you should name half the line after me. Yeah. He was in Florida. I am the most railroad guy you're ever going to meet. That's right. Not a joke. The railroad. What happened was, and uh, but I also, there was a, uh, but I, uh, it turned out I was about number three in seniority on the road at the time. If you did, uh, now, well, I mean, in terms of the actual time on the road, Ange came up to me one day when I was, when they just had announced that I had flown uh, one million some X number of miles he, he flies on the Air Amtrak, Force but... aircraft. And Ange comes up and I'm getting in the car and he goes, Joey, baby, what are you doing? And I thought the Secret Service was going to shoot him. I said, no, 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 he's good, he's good. True story. And, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> That's how you know he's uh, <laughs> You know, we, uh, it's interesting. I think I, I was told, I don't know if it's true, I was the only kid in my, in my era that I was able to walk across the lackey on that pipe that was just above the thing. My era. You know, it's like that old saying goes, you can take the boy out of Scranton, but you can't take Scranton out of the boy. Um, anyway, <laughs> and uh, you know, I uh, I wasn't very big, but you could beat me, but I'd hurt you. <laughs> um, you think I'm kidding? I'm not. Not a joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. Not a joke. It's real. It's not a joke. Think about it. Not joke. Not a joke. This is not hyperbole. This is a fact. Yeah. Oh. These are facts. Oh. What are we truth? doing? This is the United States of America, damn it. What are we doing? Language. He needs a moon pie. We will take literally millions of automobiles off the road. Where? Off the road. Saving tens of millions of barrels of oil. We come out better than it was before. Because we don't give up. Sugar's <laughs> dropping. We invest. <laughs> You've got to build the road back literally higher. Not a joke. Okay. We didn't just build an interstate highway system. We built a highway to the sky, to That's outer space. Why don't you take under it? this proposal, <laughs> and under wait. this proposal, I'm, these proposals I'm talking about, they will not increase one single penny of the deficit. They are fully paid for. And all Wall Street points out they will grow employment by tens of thousands of people. No, they won't. Tens of thousands of people. 17 Nobel laureates spontaneously, a Nobel laureates in economy, in the economy, <laughs> sent me a letter explosion. three weeks <laughs> ago saying we'll also reduce, not increase inflation. All these letters. And the cost of the Build Back Better bill in terms of adding to the deficit is zero. Zero. Sure. Zero. Sure. Like my IQ. Because we're going to pay for it all. Yeah. In addition to that, half of it is a tax cut. And it does not increase the debt. Oh, why do I have to pay for it if it's zero? Yeah. When you talk about the number, we shouldn't even talk about the numbers. No. Because it's all paid for, written in the same piece of legislation. He knows, he wrote You it. know, when I use the phrase build back better, it's being used internationally now. Really? I got the G7, the largest countries in the world, to agree that we're going to have a, a build back better world. Oh. And we're going to invest and we're <laughs> going to build around the world. You know, the vast majority of people now, working people, live in cities. Wow. Their jobs are out of town, no longer in town. No longer in town. But 65% do not own an automobile. They live in a black or Hispanic neighborhood or a poor neighborhood. I remember riding the trolley. The way my <laughs> grandpa got up here, my grandpa oh, Biden, he was up here opening up gas stations in 19... That, uh, that's how he got here. This was 1942, <laughs> late 42. Help business produce more clean energy. It's real. I promise you. I won't be around to see it, but I promise you. One of the things the president uh, put me in charge of my, <laughs> I want to be clear here, President Obama put me in charge of when I was vice president. president. The president. If you look at the world of advanced <laughs> economics right. and the, those advanced, ec those with advanced economies, you have to have a lower income to qualify for Medicare. Med 
Medicaid, not Medicare, Medicaid. I couldn't have been any clearer. <laughs> Guess what? 81 million people voted for me. Wow. He had to bring that up again. <laughs> He's really uh, turning it into a stump speech now. Yeah. It's, like, uh, it's like pretty crazy. Let's go, Brandon. That's rough, man. That's just rough. To see the waves of like the... Uh, Lucidity. Like the sugar level dropping, yeah. going up. It's like the yelling, the whistling. It's all like every talking. phase of him. Yeah, you really do. You see it comes in phases. You're exactly right, G. The only thing we didn't see is when he grabs his, his belt buckle and jams it all the way up to his chest like that. that the, that's coming soon. I can't wait for that. We're getting all of the same, you know, the lines, the, the Joey baby story. Yep. The, uh, not, a, not a joke. It re, I mean, we're just, oof.